Hey everybody. Mama Grits. How's everybody today? I just wanted to jump on and tell you a quick story that came to mind this morning. There was a preacher. He came to our church. He was a little bit short fella and he preached the most powerful message to be the simplest message I had ever heard. And I've never forgotten and I want to share it with you today. He preached about the tree. You know, there's lots of scriptures in the Bible about a tree. It's a tree of life. There's a tree of good and evil, uh, knowledge and you know, wisdom. There's all kinds of trees. God created them all. But what he was talking about was loving Jesus. Just loving God. I'm trying to move my camera here a little bit. So he said, and what I've come here tonight to tell you is this. You can take a tree, a good tree, and you can put a bad limb on it. And you ain't going to get no good fruit. He said, and then you can take a bad tree and you can put a good limb on it and you still aren't going to get any good fruit. What I've come here tonight to tell you is this. If you're not bearing good fruit, you're connected to the wrong tree. Wow. Powerful, simple truth about a tree. Where is your tree standing today? Are you bearing good fruit? Have you got a bad limb? You need to cut something off, cut something out. It's up to you. God wants us to follow Him. He wants to give us the knowledge and the wisdom that we need to survive this world. It blesses me to think about the tree. You know, Ezekiel, the book is Ezekiel 47.12 says that the tree was would grow uh, and, and it would not die that it was to produce fruit month after month and that it would produce medicine the plant the plant would produce medicine he planted the trees and the leaves with a purpose in mind I'll never forget one time I was riding down the road and I said, Lord, you know, Alabama's covered up with pine trees. And I said, Lord, why is it in the wintertime? Because it was wintertime and the only trees that were green was the pine tree. I said, why is it the pine tree stays green all winter and everything else turns brown? And here's what he told me. Simple truth. Another simple truth. He said, because the pine tree, I put sap in, and it works like um, antifreeze for your car. He said, I insulated the needles so they would stay green. Wow, how simple is that? So I went on, I said, okay, God, on that side of the road over there, all those trees are scraggly looking and ugly, and all these trees on this side are not. What's up with that? He said, the trees on this side that are scraggly were ignored. They haven't been tended. They haven't been fertilized. They've just been left to survive on their own. But the trees on this side have been fertilized. They've been watered and planted and nurtured. He said, and they've grown to be the beautiful ones. Now, what I want to point I want to make is, when we get saved, we have to be fertilized. We have to be tended. We have to be neutralized. You know, we have to be taken care of when we lead somebody to the Lord I believe this is my belief that we're responsible to see that person grow in the Lord we don't just get people saved and just drop them to sink or swim and it don't work that way I know when I got saved I was coming from a pretty rough place and I had got, I told you before I got saved over a broken fingernail <coughs> and the lady who had that broken fingernail just kind of took me under her wing and it didn't matter of course I had lived the nightlife for so long I was a night owl I like to stay up all night but I'd be up at night and I'd be I, I thought would come to me and I'd call her up two three o'clock in the morning I'd say hey what's the Bible say about this and she said, hang on, let me get my Bible. I knew I'd woke her up. 
but I needed to know because here's why I needed to know. She herself had told me, Sharon, anything that somebody tells you, ask them to show. Let me hang that phone up. <laughs> Let ask them to show you in the Word. She said, if you can see it in the Word and you can read it in black and white, you can believe it. She said, regardless if it's something I tell you or something somebody else tells you, ask to see it in the Word. So I did. Two or three o'clock in the morning, I called her, hey, what's the Bible say about this? And she'd get up and she spent that time with me, teaching me, nurturing me, tending me, fertilizing, making sure that I understood. I'll forever be grateful to that, for that, Diane. You know exactly who you are. And it was such a blessing that you were always there. You've always been there, and that's been 37 years that you've always been there and we don't talk every day we don't have to and we probably get aggravated with one another every now and then but we'll always be spiritual sisters we'll always be there for one another when times get tough i know i pick up the phone and i call you you need that kind of friend too i want to be that friend to you if you want to talk, I'll be glad to talk to you. Call me, message me, email me, or whatever. I'll send you my phone number, or you can send me yours, and I'll be glad to talk to you. I don't want to ever leave anybody hanging who wants to know more about Jesus. It's just what I do. It's who I am. I want to tell people about his goodness and his mercy. There's nothing sweeter than his mercy. If not for his mercy, none of us would be here. But that's just all I wanted to share with you today. Uh, I've got a list of videos that God has laid on my heart to teach on and talk about. And um, I'm going to be doing that real soon, but today's not the day. But I just want to thank you for listening. Subscribe and like. Not for monetization. You know, this channel will never be monetized. Um, just because I love Jesus. But I want to pray with you before we go. And if you pray this prayer with me, please email me and let me know. Or acknowledge it here in the likes and the comments. It's okay. We all have to start somewhere. Father, right now I come before you with everyone under the sound of my voice. And Lord, I ask you to help them to understand better who you are. If you don't know Jesus, if you'll pray this prayer with me, you'll come out on the other side smiling. God, I realize I'm a sinner and I ask you to save me of my sins. I believe that Jesus died on the cross to save me of my sins. And on the third day, he resurrected that I might be set free. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me and I ask you, Jesus, to come into my life as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' most precious name, amen. P.S. God, I now believe I am saved. Amen. Bye, y'all. Talk to you later. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Bye-bye.